Welcome back, Titan Nation. Thank you guys for joining me for another season of Titan Caves. This year, got a couple people that have come, wanted to show out. They're obviously, they're Titan Caves, so guys, you guys are in for a, a great thing. Remember, every Thursday, 7 p.m., Titan Caves is on, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Remember, if you guys haven't checked out season one of Titan Caves, I'll have that down below in the link. Uh, every episode, there's four episodes. This year, there will be four episodes as well, and it's going to be a great time. Again, I'm really, really pumped on the people I have coming in to show off you know, the Titan Caves. So if, do me a favor, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel, please do, give some likes, leave some comments. These guys are showing out for you, not for me, but they wanna show out for the world. So again, thank you so much. And for our guest, our very first guest, I have a gentleman, they call him the collector. And no, 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 he's not the collector from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. His name is Preston Penn, a really good friend of mine and he has an amazing man cave that he just he just started and just built and it's perfect in a new home so guys let's get this show started and let's go air gives it to george running right up the middle touchdown Tight. there are no flags on the field it's a miracle Safety, now you're one-on-one with him. Shows why he's the man. In trouble. Sacks! What's up, everybody? This is Preston Penn, and this is my man, Kay. We're going to do a little walkthrough for Mr. Titan for his YouTube channel. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'll show you some of the better stuff here. Uh, start off, we got a couple of signed photos, the big photos, you got Derrick Henry and Adoree Jackson. If you remember the Bo Jackson photo, iconic photo from the early 90s, you'll know exactly what this is. Uh, we got a few game balls here, signed by Kendall Wright, Jason McCourty, Michael Griffin, and then some presentation balls. As we can move along a little bit more, we've got some custom album covers that I made. Uh, Darren Bates, Pat Man Jones, and Jarrell Casey along with a couple more game balls and my sign mini helmets. A couple of the better ones to highlight it would be Randy Moss, Steve McNair, Eddie George, Jarrell Casey, Taylor Lewan. And then you see this man right here, number 99, Jarrell Casey, manning the, this side of the fort. So he's he's kind of set up stage, set up shop here, so there's no way you can get past him. And then this is the wall of jerseys. As you can see, I pulled a couple out. And the game is strong. You see all six of these out, or seven, however many there are. I uh, got a couple of the better ones. This is one of Steve McNair's game jerseys. This is actually a practice jersey of Derrick Henry that he that he signed. In addition, we've also got a, a jersey issued to the great Earl Campbell. Got a throwback jersey of Ryan Fowler from the Hall of Fame game, which actually is this Thursday for for this year. We've got football in just a couple days, guys. Then we've got a Pro Bowl jersey of Michael Roos. The great Randy Moss has signed and worn this jersey, and you got a Jarrell Casey jersey. Over here, we got a couple more signed photos. We got a couple custom helmets. We got a Darren Bates one of a kind hand painted helmet, Jarrell Casey's USC game worn helmet that's all scratched up, and then you've got game worn helmets on this wall right here. Among the highlights of these would be Ben Chung's throwback helmet, Steve McNair's helmet from his MVP season. I've got an Eddie George. I've got Jarrell's helmet, I've got a Rackpost helmet, Avery Williamson's three kind of ride helmets, among quite a few others. There's there's some pretty good ones here, and I think I've pretty much got every, I've got a helmet from every era of Titans football, all the way from 1999, all the way into 2020. So let's walk to the other wing of the Titans cave. Right here we got some game worn gloves that are on this wall, we got Eddie George, followed by Delaney Walker, followed by Justin Hunter, followed by Robert Johnson, AKA Rojo. Over here, we got a few of my pictures with, and this room is probably 90% Titans, but we got a few other things in here that are nice. Kim Kardashian, Adam Sandler, Scottie Pippen, Penny and Shaq. 
Then you've also got pitchers with a few of the better Titans players are my favorites, as well as the Titans owner. You see that? I actually photobombed my buddy Steve. So I had to have her sign it. She thought it was funny because she said, oh, look, he's in the picture. He photobombed. I was like, yep, that's me. So then over here, we've got some game-worn cleats. We've got Steve McNair, Derrick Henry in cases. And below it, you've got a couple good ones like Kenny Britt's touchdown cleats from the Arizona game. Uh, Javon Kirst, Cortland Finnegan's custom cleats. Got a couple other pairs of cleats there. And then over here, you've got the bobbleheads because I didn't really have another place to put them, so I put them there. And on this side, to mirror up to, because I'm anal about stuff being even, I've got other pairs of game cleats over here. You've got Darren Bates' custom cleats and Kevin Byers' custom cleats, as well as a couple of my cause my cleats, David Flewellen and Darren Bates as well. Got a pair of Daquan Jones' game cleats from the Color Rush game. Big Jeff, Arakpo, Ty Smith with the Simple Greatness. And then get a couple non-Titans things for you guys that do like that kind of stuff, that are not, that like other stuff besides Titans. Got one of Penny Hardaway's game jerseys from the Memphis State University, the best university in the history of the world. Got a Damon Stoudemire authentic champion jersey that he signed with the 50th anniversary gold NBA logo. Got a couple nice mini helmets over here as well. We've got Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, John Elway, Tro Troy Aikman, Big Ben, Jerome Bettis, among quite a few others. You got a chrome one on the bottom that's of uh, Tim Brown. I'm gonna have to improve the lighting over there, but we're kind of getting there. There's a game used XFL jersey from Rashawn Sheehy, The Truth. One of the rare ones that they actually had his nickname on it, so that's pretty cool. Got a couple nice photos up here, signed by Michael Jordan with a little, or I'm sorry, Gary Payton with a little profanity on there to Michael Jordan, as well as, yep, there we go. And as well as Bill Russell, the great Bill Russell, who's 87 years old or 87 years young. Got a Drew Brees signed game one hat. Reggie Bush signed a upper deck authenticated piece of memorabilia, as well as some game worn helmets down here. We've got Keith Bullock's last helmet he ever wore. Look at this face mask, is this not bad as hell? It's his helmet from 2010. You've got a game worn helmet of Darius Sims who played for the Titans for about three weeks. That's a deep water Vanderbilt helmet. And then a couple former Titans players you will recognize, one of them for sure, Dexter McCluster, and Kalen Burnett, they both also played for the Massachusetts Pirates, which is an arena team that has been in several different leagues. Now we've got several other pieces. We've got a Tom Brady signed photo authenticated by TriStar, as well as game-worn jerseys of DeAndre Hopkins and Antonio Brown. Just below that, you also have straight cash, homie, Randy Moss. Signed authentic Vikings helmet, followed by an XFL game used football from 2001. As well as, I'm a big MMA fan, if you guys have ever talked to me, these are Mike Perry's gloves that he wore against Jake Ellenberger in 2017 when he knocked the hell out of Ellenberger. One of the most vicious knockouts I've ever seen. Also, we have a couple more nice items over here. We have a Michael Jordan signed photo. We have Allen Iverson signed photo. We have my stepson Anthony Vick's favorite player, Michael Vick, signed photo right here, who is also filming. Shout out, Anthony. And we have Peyton Manning's Game Worn hat that he handed me himself, which is pretty cool. It's Even though he's a division rival, much respect to him because he's a badass player and a great person. Also got signed helmets of Terry Bradshaw, as well as Bart Starr. And Memphis Tigers <laughs> chrome helmet of Daryl Henderson, who will be a monster for the Rams this year. And D'Angelo Williams, who is one of the best players I've ever seen at any level of college football. Finally, to top it off, we've got a couple other jerseys, starting with Johnny Manziel from the Alliance of American Football. How many of you guys remember 2019 when they had a league that played for like six games and they quit playing, the, paying the players? Well, I'm sure they all hate, I'm sure they're all pissed still, but it is a cool piece of history that I need to get them to sign. Finally, we have several other ones. We have a custom design of Darren Bates signed jersey that he gave me, as well as, this is probably the, Best piece in my collection, my favorite thing. Derrick Henry, game-worn jersey from 2019 versus the Jaguars, which the Titans have owned the Jaguars as mu pretty much the entire series. I mean, if you look at the records, it has been a pretty overall dominant stretch for the Titans over them. And then you have a Delaney Walker game-worn jersey. This photo, just like the Bates, is also 
got a photo of him from that game and he signed the jersey and it has been put in a custom case. Finally, we got a couple more things to show you guys and the lighting sucks, you have to forgive me. There's a Marcus Mariota signed custom canvas, one of a kind. We also have Bud Adams who signed this index card that I mounted with this picture that, if there's ever a picture that personified Bud Adams, this is it right here. Finally, a Steve McNair and Peyton Manning signed photo. They both signed it for me. And this is them, their MVP season, his MVP season that they both shared the award in 2003. And to me real fast, we got two more or three more photos. I can't count today, guys. Uh, Brian Tannehill signed 11 by 14. You got Kevin Byard signed 11 by 14. And you've got Derek Mason signed Tennessee Oilers 11 by 14. Well, guys, I appreciate everybody taking a chance, time to come hang out with me for a couple minutes. Uh, go check out Mr. Titan's YouTube channel and tighten the hell up. Man, thank you guys so much for sticking with me through that video. Man, that was one hell of a Titan team, especially some of the other stuff he had from other teams. Again, thank you, Preston Penn, for, um, for showing us around. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, I'll see you at the tailgate. And guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember, next week, 7 p.m., Titans Cave. Let's go. And always, Titan up.